Good morning, everybody. It's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I'm back. Kinda. I'm still tired. Um, I have a nine nine fifteen appointment in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's my first doctor's appointment since I've been back. Been having some issues controlling my pulse and my blood pressure. They've been in the tank. Hang on one second. Remember the good old days opening the gate? <sighs> Anywho, hopefully I'll get all. It's so weird, you know, you come home in the middle of the week and nobody has next day appointment. Sorry, I don't care if you're dying. <laughs> Only the hospital. And they were. I tell you what, first off, let me start off is I want to thank everybody for all their thoughts and prayers. Oh my goodness. I have never received such an influx of love and support by anybody ever in my life like I did. And thank you. I love you guys too. I've never felt so loved. I'm not going to get emotional because I got an appointment. I got makeup on. <laughs> uh, which way do I want to go? Which way do I want to go? Let's go the scenic route. Um, my car's not screaming at me. I don't have my seatbelt on. What's wrong with you? She's been sleeping for a couple weeks in the driveway. <laughs> That's funny. This thing usually screams at me. Oh, the construction on my road. I haven't gone this way, you guys. This is the way I used to go to work. And I haven't been to the office in forever. Uh, get back to my thank yous. I know there are a lot of podcasters out there that, um, that helps spread the love and the prayers. And to all my prayer warriors. It worked. I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I'm very, I'm very blessed to be here. From what I was told. Oh my goodness. This house wasn't even there last time. Oh my God. There's two houses on this street. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some things never change. I'm still, my mind's still all over the place. But yes, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I cried. I, saw, I watched several videos. I'm afraid I'm going to forget somebody. So I don't want to say names. But you guys know who you are out there. Thank you so much. pressure's low, you just feel, Bleh. you know, I've been doing a lot of sleeping and getting up and walking. I'm supposed to get up and walk. Well, I do, but I'm a zombie. <laughs> kind of tired this morning. If I didn't have a doctor's appointment, I'd still be in bed. Oh, I'm going to need to get a life coach. Get me off my rump. Hopefully if my blood pressure gets better, you know, this has been going on a long time that Pikes Peak Mountain just triggered it. I've had this blockage for a while because it was almost completely blocked. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, my memory's still bad. <laughs> I was hoping now that I got more oxygen to my brain, more blood flow through my heart, maybe my memory would get better. Uh, nothing changed. Oh, goodness. I don't know what I was talking about. Other than thanking you guys. You guys know I love you. I appreciate you. I know I have a few phone calls to make. It's just... I got home and I was just... Just inundated with family and friends locally. My best friend of all people. She's like called me every day. Um, you know how life kind of just.
just gets in the way of stuff and um, I'm one of those friends that I've heard I know you've heard it from like Jennifer no pressure friends I'll always be there for you whether you're in my life every day or once in a blue moon I'll always be there for you if you need me and that's how a lot of my very close friendships are me and my girlfriend Allison we raised our boys together our boys aren't real close anymore because they both took two different directions and that happens in life but we've always said no matter what we would stay good friends and what's really strange is the night before the heart attack I was in Joanne's <laughs> somewhere I don't, don't, don't know somewhere between Kansas and Texas probably or not Texas um, where did I go Colorado I was in the Joann's and or it might have been a Michael's I can't remember but she called me and I told her I was on vacation for the month and she's like girl we need to start traveling we can't go this long without talking and blah 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 and we just we caught up while I was in Michael's and um, I'm just very involved in my yarn community and uh, and I'm I'm very I'm very content with my life. I'm very happy. And um, and um, I guess I have to look at life differently. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, it's talking about Allie. But anyway, she called me. She's like, girl, she said, oh, I about lost it when I heard what happened to you. She said, we just talked the night before, and we hadn't talked in, like, several months. She said, we cannot go like that again. You know, and I got a watch now on my wrist. My phone is on my wrist. <laughs> my heartbeat. I can, I mean, this thing tracks everything. And it, the kids are still showing me how to use it. A lot of you probably already have one, right? Tyler bought me and his dad one. He wanted he wanted to give me a life alert to put around my neck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I'm at that point. I'm still mobile. <laughs> oh. My grandfather lived to be 94, and um, he um, he had a high sugar level, but it was controlled by diet, I believe. They, I, I have um, a high sugar, so that could have contributed to this. I guess it could have been a lot. My lifestyle. I used to be a smoker. I mean, let's get real. A lot of driving factors and I love ribeye okay prime rib ribeye yeah and lobster and lobster is just as bad is what the doctor told me get mobile alerts what does that mean we're here at Stankis family care because I see his um, associate well we're here to show you his practice. It's so cute. It's a sign. I'm so proud of him. And then here is his office. Is that not a door? American flag flying somewhere. He took it somewhere. I love the American flag, you guys. Oh, the flag's down. Well, he had some construction done. Tiffany's husband added on two more exam rooms to his practice, but this place is really cute inside. All right, I gotta go. Love y'all. Okay, I'm back. Look at my seat, what it does. I'm gonna turn my car off. I'm back. Alright. So, I should have some appointments. I will see a cardiologist hopefully this week. Um, I just, you know, I, 
I saw my primary to make sure, you know, to let her know what was going on and um, got some more labs drawn. gonna hold my blood pressure. They're gonna let the cardiologist control that. So, so far I'm doing okay. I mean, just gotta do some, they gotta make some adjustments to my pain medication, my pain medication, <laughs> my blood pressure medication. Oh, it's 10.30. Publix and see what I can get to eat. I have to change my diet, which is going to be very difficult. I want to get some chicken thighs. Actually, I'm going to turn around. Only Dixie has better chicken than Publix. Publix chicken is looking anorexic. They do. Buy a chicken, it falls over on its side. The rotisserie chicken, the ones that went Dixie, they're a little more plump. I kid you not. I ought to do a comparison one day. There's no meat on the chickens from Publix, not the rotisserie ones, anyways. So I know nothing's going to be ready. I'm just going to go buy some. chicken breast last night I cooked. Eh, it was too dry. And, you know, can't put any salt on it. So I used Miss Dash, which wasn't too bad, but it was extremely dry because it was chicken breast. Just too dry. I just seared it in a pan and a little bit of uh, uh, light olive oil. Somebody told me to cook with coconut oil. I've never cooked with coconut oil. Definitely give that a try. At least I don't have to cook for my, for my whole family, you know. Could you imagine having to cook specialty stuff for me and then cook a whole meal for a family? I'm still very tired. She said that's because of my blood pressure. And she said, and the heart attack, she said, it's going to take a while. She said, that's why you go to rehab, because they'll, they'll build your stamina. She said, you've, I told her I'd been sleeping a lot prior to, and she said it was my heart, the blockage. I just thought I was getting older. But I know all the signs and symptoms now. But I hope I never have to go through that again, but... dog and it's got spikes on its collar. It ain't no service dog. It's about as service dog as Susie is. <laughs> She's going to be an emotional support dog. My husband loves her so much. She's so stinking cute. But she's a naughty puppy. She's got a lab in her. They chew um they chew till they're two. 
Good job. My donor hole, I call it. There's this vein here where I used to donate blood. I told her, I said, just hit that scar right there. And she was like, she couldn't feel it. I said, you won't be able to feel it. It's in there. Just hit that hole. It's the mother load. <laughs> she got it. All right. I'm headed into Winn-Dixie. Go get some meat for the week. See you in a minute. Hey. Okay. High five. High five. Thank you. High five. High five. High five. Good girl. High five. High five. High five. Susie. High five. Thank you. Good girl. She's so beautiful. She's been a very good girl on this trip. Mm-hmm. She's a daddy's girl. <laughs> I put her outside in Texas to go potty because she was crying. And I don't know what kind of stickers they were, but there was, I set her down for two seconds and she had a hundred damn stickers all over her. They were like stickers, but they, they, um, they didn't hurt. Good girl. I need your phone. Okay.